Welcome to the French Drayman channel. I'm Robert Sherwood and I want to give you guys some tips on how to work with your drainage fabric. Right now Valentin is pulling the fabric as tight as he can possibly pull it. We do not want any wrinkles. He'll go back later and he'll cut overlap. Don't worry about that. But for right now, we just want to pull up on both sides and we want to make sure that there's no wrinkles in the fabric. We did this already. You know, we pulled really tight, put the pipe in the bottom, put the stone on top of the pipe while we had the fabric pinned back real tight. But you have to make sure that you get all those buckles and wrinkles out like you see Valentine doing here. Because what happens when it's wrinkled or buckled, now those holes that we have punched and we have those second set of holes punched so that your grass roots will grow through it and through gravity and capillary action deliver the water down to the French drain system. That happens to be a pop-up that does not have a spring. So it's just a low pressure uh, you know, French drain, gravity, and honestly, I don't think a whole lot of water is even going to come out of the pop-up because it usually just goes out the fitting where it connects to the pipe and all the holes that we drill in it because we don't want that to be a place for mosquitoes to breed. So Valentin's cutting out around that pop-up, and he will go back and cut all that excess fabric that he pulled as he got all the wrinkles and buckles out so that we up the flow rate and we get good flow and the fabric works as it was intended to. Again, buckles and wrinkles are no good. You're not going to get good flow. All right, everybody, until that next video.